Good morning. Time is really going at a faster rate, and uh, without realizing, uh, it will also catch up on us on a lot of issues uh, that we need to deal with. Just a reminder to everyone that please take note of the normal COVID protocols. Uh, for our own safety, and uh, it must be observed at all times. Recently, I issued some directives, and they contain in the directions that were issued, and in compliance with that, I would like to encourage everyone to take note of that because it's important that we are aware of the situation so that it guides us into assisting this Commission of Inquiry when it comes to its concluding stage. And therefore, it is imperative from that perspective, and I must stress it very strongly here, that given the situation and the circumstances that have come about, I am of the view that I will be content to deal with the time limitation or time factors in line with the total structure development and the scope of this Commission of Inquiry. So it is very important that you take note of that. I have on my diary for this morning a long list of issues that we will deal with. And I know that with your participation here this morning, we will get through with some of this, and uh, it should help us all in guiding us through for the hearing for this morning. Just to recap some of the things that I've mentioned, the usual practice note that was endorsed by this commission, please read it carefully so that you are aware of the situation and the circumstances that come as a result of how we're going through this Commission of Inquiry. With that in mind, I now call upon the Council assisting in the inquiry to guide us through for this morning. Uh, thank you, uh, Commissioner. Uh, Tolik, and uh, good morning. A uh, number of summonses uh, to uh, go through this morning. Commissioner, I'd like to uh, deal with the shorter matters first, and then my friend uh, uh, Mr. Guerrero will deal with the uh, will deal with the balance of the matters. Um, we'll deal with uh, we'll give priority to uh, those who are in attendance uh, this morning. So, if I may call or make mention of some someone's number thirteen. Uh, Commissioner, for the, sorry, for the record, my name is Kipa, initial M, and I am one of the councils assisting this commission. So, uh, summons number 13, uh, that was issued to uh, the Minister for Finance, the Honourable Sir John Pundare. So, if I can kindly invite Sir John to, uh, uh, to attend at the uh, bar table. Uh, Chairman, if I could just give a few moments to uh, Sir John to um, personally enter his uh, appearance. Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioner, my department and I, we need more time to put information together that uh, will assist this Commission of Inquiry. And therefore, I humbly appear before you, Mr. Chairman, to seek an extension to about the uh, first week of March 2022. And Mr. Chairman, we have a parliament that is uh, in session this week also. I am asking Mr. Chairman uh, for an extension of time. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Council. Yes, uh, Commissioner, we have uh, no objections to the extension being sought. Um, the proposed uh, date uh, is the 7th, uh, that is from our part, the 7th of March uh, 2022 at 9.30am because we have other matters listed on that date as well. So if uh, direction could be uh, given to the fact to capture the extension sought to the 7th of March 2022 at 9.30am for, for mention. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Consul. Honourable Minister, having considered the merits of the reasons uh, this morning, uh, the Commission directs that someone's number 13, dated 27 January 2022, is further extended to Monday, 7 March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated is 23rd of February 2022, authorized by the Commission. Yeah. Um, that's, that's it for someone's number 13. Um, if I, if, if I may ask for Mr. Sir John Pundari to be excused from the bar table. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. The next uh, summons which I uh, propose to deal with is summons number 15. I beg your pardon, sorry, summons number 16. Summons number 16 was issued to the Minister for Lands and Physical Planning, that is the Honourable John Rosso, who is uh, present um, this morning. So if Mr. Uh, John Rosso, the Honourable MP, could make his way to the bar table. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Um, maybe I'll give some time to the Minister to uh, make experience and inform the Commission as to what his position is. Good morning, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, I share the same uh, sentiments uh, for an adjournment as uh, my colleague, the Finance Minister, due to one Parliament being session. and. Uh, uh, two, to ensure that my department has all the relevant information for your uh, perusal for this inquiry. As uh, also, I am a new minister and I was not uh, around when these uh, issues occurred, so I need departmental uh, facts and figures from my department here to cooperate with you in this inquiry. So I also seek an adjourn adjournment to the same time, uh, March 7th, to uh, attend the inquiry with my department ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Commissioner, no objections to the extension sought. So maybe a similar direction uh, to the 7th of March as well. In response to that, uh, I consider the, the merits and the the reasons being given and the circumstances. 
and the Commission now directs that summons number 15, dated 27 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday, 7th of March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Uh, dated this 23rd day of February 2022. So, a correction, just for the record, summons number 16, 1 6. My apology, uh, Minister and Council. Uh, yeah, the correction is uh, summons number 16. Uh, it's now further extended to Monday, the 7th of March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Date it is 23rd day of February 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Thank you. If Mr. Rosa could be excused. Thank you, Mr. Rosa. You can be excused. Thank you, sir. Thank you Commissioner. Uh, the next summons that I wish to deal with is summons number nine, uh, which was issued to the Attorney General, Dr. Eric Kwa, who is present this morning. If I may ask Dr. Eric Kwa to attend at the bar table. Thank you. I will allow uh, Dr. Kwa to enter his appearance and uh, state his position in relation to the summons. Uh, thank you, Council and uh, Commissioner. I'm happy to appear this morning to assist the Commission to undertake its role to investigate the events that related to the motor care uh, wharf. Commissioner, I, at the time that the events took place, I was not uh, there in office. But I am aware that um, the former Deputy Prime Minister and the Attorney General was instructed by Cabinet to conduct an administrative inquiry and so I'd like to ask the permission of the Commission to give me the next two weeks to collect information and evidence from those parties that the former Deputy Prime Minister engaged into the same matter that I can then present to the Commission to assist you in terms of your findings. Um, I became aware of the summons and then I, I also talked to the State Soul and the State Solicitor has all the relevant materials relating to the purchase of the motorcar wharf and I've asked him to cooperate fully with your inquiry from the department. So I stand here to just attend to two matters. One is as a department, the state solicitor will appear for us and present the relevant information that relates to this particular inquiry. But if you can also give me the opportunity to collect the information that is available in relation to the former Deputy Prime Minister and the decision that was made by Cabinet for him to do an administrative inquiry. Let me collect that information that I can present back to the Commission to assist you. So I will, again, with the other two leaders, seek an extension to the seventh, if possible. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Council? Thank you, Commissioner. No objections to the extension sought? Similar direction for for the seventh it will be fine. Thank you. Well, thank you, Council. I'm satisfied with the relations that have been demonstrated this morning, and given the the circumstances that have come about as a result of that, the commission is the commission now directs that uh, someone's number nine, dated 27 January 2022 is now further extended to 7th of March 2022 at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Uh, dated is 23rd day of February 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. And if Dr. Kwa could be excused. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kwa, for your participation this morning. You can now can be excused. Commissioner, the next summons that I wish to deal with is uh, summons number five. 
summons number five, dated the 6th of January, 2022, was issued to BSP Financial Group Limited, in particular to the company secretary, Ms. Mary Jones. Mr. Wafi from BSP is here today on behalf of Ms. Jones, so I'll invite Mr. Wafi to take the bar table. Good morning, Commissioner. Um, in, so far as summons number five is concerned, um, I'm here to confirm that we have uh, substantially complied with the summons. Um, I understand the um, Commission requires the attendance of uh, Ms. Johns, who the summons is directed at uh, Pierre to formally tender the documents that we furnished. Uh, Ms. Johns couldn't make it today, um, and I'm here on her behalf. Uh, we have to ask for an extension um, to uh, a date in the first week of March for her to appear um, for that process to complete. Thank you, Mr. Lawson. Uh, yes, that is correct, uh, Commissioner. Uh, BSP has substantially complied with the, um, uh, with the summons that was issued to them in terms of the production of documents, and we're actually very happy uh, with the manner in which the documents have been produced. Unfortunately, Ms. Uh, uh, Ms. Jones could not be here to confirm the production and uh, ten have the documents tendered. So, uh, in a nutshell, no objections to the extension sought. So, um, similar direction uh, as, as with the others for extension to the uh, 7th of March 2022 at 9.30 a.m. Thank you, Thank you. Consul. Uh, given the depth of the, the, the reasons that have been provided to the Commission, and uh, we are fully aware of that, and uh, the Commission directs that uh, summons number five, dated 6 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday, 7th of March 2022, at 9.30 a.m. for mention dated this 23rd day of February 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Mr. Wafi. Thank you, Commissioner. Mr. Wafi could be excused. Mr. Wafi can be excused. Thank you. Commissioner, I now move on to summons number seven, uh, which was issued to the Department of Treasury to the Acting Secretary, Mr. Andrew Y.K. Uh, Mr. Andrew Y.K. is here with his uh, counsel, so I'll let her to uh, enter her appearance. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioner. Morning. For the record, counsel's okay. name is Kewa Initial M. I appear for Acting Secretary, Department of Treasury. Also in attendance this morning is the Principal Legal Officer for Department of Treasury, Mrs. Aimo Sanabe. Sorry, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Aimo. Aimo, okay. Sanabe. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Consul. Yes. Um, there, there has been uh, compliance uh, on the part of the Secretary in terms of the production of documents. Um, and um, <clears throat> we will, pardon me, we will, we are in the process of reviewing the material um, and therefore we will need time. So maybe uh, extension uh, to the seventh as well for further mention. Uh, Council, uh, given the circumstances, I'm satisfied with that. And the Commission directs that summons number seven, dated 6 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday, 7th of March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. For mention, dated this 23rd day of February 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Commissioner. If Ms. Kawa could be excused, and thank you to Mr. Secretary for your attendance this morning. Thank you. You can be excused. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, the next summons that I wish to deal with is summons number eight. Summons number eight was issued to the state solicitor, Mr. Daniel, Daniel Ropa Garea. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, Mr. Garea, uh, Mr. Ropa Garea is not in attendance. Um, but they have produced some documents to us, and we are <coughs> beg pardon. They have produced some docu documents to us, and we are in the process of reviewing the material. Um, so we will need time to uh, review the materials and uh, come back to the commission and inform it as to its uh, uh, relevance. So. We will seek a similar direction for extension to the 7th of March, 2022, at 9.30 a.m. for mention. Thank you. Well, thank you, Council. In response to that, the Commission directs that summons number 8, dated 27th of January, 2022, is now further extended to Monday, 7th March, 2022, uh, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated is 23rd day of February 2022, authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. The next summons is summons number 10. Summons 10 was issued to the Treasurer, the Honorable Ian Ling Stuckey. Commissioner, for this summons, um, we have received no communication from either Mr. Ling Stucky himself or his office. Um, so we will seek to have this summons adjourned to the 7th as well. 7th of March, that is. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Council. I'm, I'm concerned that uh, sometimes, in light of what I've expressed earlier on, that we need to comply with the directions. And our attitude in ensuring that we comply with it. Um, but I'm aware that there are situations that can come about that can bring the kind of result that might, we might not have it. But having considered the situation uh, and given the merit that goes with it, uh, the Commission directs that someone's number 10, dated 27 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday the 7th of March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m., for mention, that it is 23rd day of February 2022, authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commissioner, uh, we will reach out to him and try to ascertain what his position is in the meantime. The next summons that uh, I wish to deal with is uh, summons number 11. Summons number 11 was uh, issued to the Minister for State Enterprises, and that is the Honourable William Duma. Commissioner, Mr. Duma did reach out to me by way of a text message and sought to have his um, uh, summons extended uh, to a later date uh, for the reason that he has Parliament seat in this morning. And um, I will have no objections to the extension sought, so 
the proposed date is the 7th, so maybe a, a direction for extension to the 7th as well. Thank you. Thank you, Council. I have considered that. Uh, so the Commission now directs that someone's number 11, dated 27th of January 2022, is now further extended to Monday, 7th March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated this 23rd of February 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. Now, I'd like to mention someone's number 17. Someone's number 17 was issued to the Department of National Planning and Monitoring to the Secretary, Mr. Corney Samuel. Commissioner, this is the second time that this summons has returned before this commission, and unfortunately we have yet to receive any communication in response to the summons from either Mr. Conti Samuel or his office. We will have or seek to have this summons adjourned to the uh, 7th as well, and in the interim period try to make contact with Mr. Samuel and establish what his position is in relation to this uh, summons. So we seek a similar direction for extension to the 7th. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm aware of the situation, but I must warn that if people are deliberately attending to not to attend the Commission of Inquiry, uh, it is not a good sign. You have a responsibility to ensure that you comply with the directions only when you have good reasons that you can abstain yourself from that. But having considered the situation, which I'm aware of, is the second time, and it must not go further than the third time. Therefore, the Commission directs that someone's number 17 dated 27 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday the 7th of March 2022, of which I expect that something needs to be done uh, for mention. Dated this 23rd day of Gen uh, February 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Chairman and Commissioner. Those are all the summons that I wish to deal with. I will now hand it over to Mr. Guerra to deal with the balance of the summonses. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. If I could call summons number 12. That's a summons that was issued to ANZ Bank, in particular, the managing director. Or rather, it was just issued to I just issued to the bank. I understand Denton's RPA for ANZ Bank and ANZ Bank's managing director, Mr. Mark Baker, is in attendance this morning to formally tender documents that had been initially produced to the commission previously. So if I could call, uh, call Mr. Baker and his counsel to enter their appearance. Thank you. If it pleases the Commission, NIGS NIGS initial J uh, appear. Sorry, uh, can you repeat again? NIGS spelled N I G S initial J. Um, I appear for ANZ Bank in summons number 12. Um, I'm here this morning with uh, the managing director of the bank, um, Mr. Baker, um, and uh, we, we seek leave to tender an affidavit that has been signed by um, Mr. Baker containing documents that may be relevant for purposes of the commission's uh, inquiry. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Just, just for the record, if I could ask, I'd rather invite Mr. Baker to take the um, witness box so he could be formally sworn in to produce 
um, his affidavit, I understand that he has produced. I do, so help me God. Good morning, Mr. Baker. Good morning. Thank you for your attendance this morning. Now, if you could just please state your full name for the record. My name is Mark Vincent Baker. Mr. Baker, what is your current occupation? I'm the Managing Director of ANZ Bank P&G Limited. Mr. Baker, you've attended this morning in response to a summons issued by the Commission, is that correct? That is correct. And in response to that summons, you produced a document, a number of documents, and you wish to tell that those documents under a affidavit? I, I do, thank you. Yes, and that affidavit, if you could just identify the affidavit that was um, sworn by yourself? It has been. And what, uh, what's the date of that affidavit? The date of the affidavit is today. It's today? 20, 23rd of February. Yes. And if you could just um, pr produce a, a copy to, to myself? We just two copies. Commissioner, the document is marked as the deponent, Mr. Mark Baker. It's sworn on the twenty third of February, twenty twenty two. Mr. Baker, there's three three pages of narratives. If you turn to the third page, there are two signatures on it. Thank you. So if you could just kindly identify the signature that appears above the name Mark Baker. That is mine. That is your that is a signature. And you wish to formally turn that that document to the Commission. I do, thank you. Commissioner, in the circumstances, if I could ask that the document tendered by Mr. Mark Baker, by way of an affidavit sworn on the 23rd of February 2022, be marked as ANZ MB 1. Well, uh, I have with me here the uh, summons number 12 uh, from exhibit ANZ MB1. Mr. Commission, please. Yes. Mr. Baker, is there anything further? Otherwise, um uh, we propose to extend your summons to the 7th, since you pr uh, produced, uh, indeed, um, uh, there's basically nothing further to, to produce, so if you can co confirm your attendance on the 7th, if that's convenient. I'll be here, yeah. In those circumstances, we ask that Mr. Baker's summons be extended to the 7th of March, 2022, at 9.30 a.m., for mention. In response to that, thank you, Council, uh, Mr. Baker. I'm satisfied. Uh, and the Commission directs that summons number 12, dated 27 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday, the 7th of March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated this 23rd day of February 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Yeah. If Mr. Baker could be excused along with his counsel, uh, Commissioner. Yes, uh, Mr. Baker, thanks for your participation this morning. You can now be excused from the witness stand. Thank you. Yeah. Commissioner, the next 
matter is the summons number 15 that was issued to the Registrar of Titles, Mr. Ala Ane. If I could call Mr. Ane to the bar table, along with, I understand, the Director of Legal and Policy Lens, Department of Lens, Mr. Simon Hahori. Council's name is Simon Hahori, initial S, pronounced H A H O R Y, in our lawyer for lands department, appearing for the register of titles, Alani, in for lands department. Thank you. Commissioner, um, I have uh, liaised with um, Ms. Sonja Hoa, who actually attended last time with the Land Secretary, and since this week with Mr. Hohori. Now they're in the process of um, collating and producing documents to us. So in those circumstances, we have no objection to summons number 15 being extended to the 7th of March as well at 9.30 a.m. Yeah, in response to that, uh, Council, uh I have no objection to that also. So that someone now is now extended to Monday, the 7th of March 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for mention. Dated this 23rd day of February 2022, authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Commissioner. If uh, Mr. Anne could be excused. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. The next summons is summons number 19. That's a summons issued to the Valuate General, Mr. Gabriel Michael. If he could be called up to the um, to the bench, uh, to the bar rather. Um, Mr. Hohori also appears for the Valuate General and uh, will be also seeking an extension of time to the seventh as well, for the same reasons that we um, alluded to earlier. Thank you. Uh, you have anything to say this morning? Or? Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Council's name. As stated earlier, Simon Haori, uh, standing in for, for uh, the Valley Journal from Lens Department. The documents are, we've collated but have not produced yet. We seek an extended time for my client to compile those documents and have it filed to, for the Commission's uh, uh, benefit. Thank you. Thank you. Uh Thank Commissioner, so if the Valuer General could be excused, um, rather if the, rather, the, I beg your pardon, if the summons could be extended to yeah. the, summons 90 could be extended to the 7th of March. Yes, uh, thank you. Council, uh, the Commissioner have already now considered and directs that summons number 19 dated 10 February 2022 is now further extended to Monday, the 7th of March, 2022, at about 9.30 a.m. for further mention. Dated this 23rd day of February, 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. If the value general could be excused. Yes, uh, you can be excused. Commissioner, if I could now mention summons number 14, 
That was a summons issued to the Secretary for the Department of Lands and Physical Planning, Mr. Benjamin Sampson. Commissioner, you will recall the Secretary uh, produced an, a, a bulky affidavit on the 9th of February. Um, it was to attend today basically to formally tender the document. Unfortunately, I'm informed by Mr. Hahori that the Secretary has taken ill this morning. It is not available to, to do that in terms of producing his affidavit to be tendered into evidence. In those circumstances, if summons number 14 could be extended to the 7th of March 2022 at 9.30 a.m. for mention as well. Uh, yeah, thank you, Council. Uh, yes, the Commission directs, having considered that, summons number 14, dated 27 January 2022, is now further extended to Monday, the 7th of March 2022, at 9.30 a.m. for further mention, dated this 23rd day of February 2022, raised by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, uh, you can be excused. Commissioner, the final <coughs> summons that we would like to call this morning is the summons number 18, issued to the Secretary of the Department of Prime Minister and NEC, namely Mr. Ivan Pomeliu. Yes. Now, Commissioner, the status of this particular summons is the uh, Secretary is we're awaiting an affidavit from the Secretary. Um, he has produced documents to the Commission that relate to this inquiry. Uh, we're just awaiting a formal affidavit to be um, sworn and uh, tended, uh, produced to the Commission. And in those circumstances, we propose that his summons be, summons 18 is extended to the 7th of March 2022 at 9.30 a.m., at which time Mr. Pomeli will attend to formally produce and tender his affidavit. And to respond to that, Council, yes, I'm satisfied with that. The Commission directs that someone's number 18, that the 27th of January 2022, is now further extended to Monday 7th of February, so sorry, 7th of March 2022, and about 9.30 a.m. for further mention dated this 23rd day of February 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. As, as the Commission pleases. Commissioner, there's basically no further matters uh, listed for this morning. Um, I understand the next uh, hearing date is the 28th of February, at which time um, Curtin Brothers and Bellymore number 39 Limited are listed to attend. So in those circumstances, if the hearings could be adjourned to that date. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Council. Uh, having considered that, uh, uh, the directions that are now being issued for this morning to the 7th of March, uh, it is imperative that this direction must be looked at closely and they must be complied with in, a God, in accordance with the practice of the Commission of Inquiry has already been endorsed for use. And that is a reminder to everyone that when we return back on the 7th of March as Commissioner, I expect that there must be material documents uh, that is available for us and the relevancy of it that helps us to meet the objective of the Commission of Inquiry. And uh, if, as the Council has already expressed, I don't think that we have any other issues to deal with this morning. And uh, thank you for your participation this morning. And hopefully i see you again in the next uh, hearing date as already been directed, and uh, if I could ask the acting associate to adjourn the hearing for this morning.
Ten agenda. 